Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you the advice that I got personally on the official Filament Discord by Stursby here, how to integrate Laravel login link by Spati in Filament with render hooks. So let me show you the problem and a very quick solution. So imagine login form and imagine you need to test the same project multiple times. So you add some feature or you come back in a day for testing locally and every time you need to log in with like admin and password or whatever is your default user. Of course, you can use like password managers for that, but those don't really work on local that well, at least in my personal experience. I'm sorry for my voice, by the way, still recovering from Laravel Live UK conference. Anyway, do you see this developer login? What it allows you to do is log in with one click. So you don't need to add email and password, enter anything, just click here and you're inside the application. And it doesn't fake the user, it just logs in by default with the first user in your database. So this is the underlying package, it's a Laravel package, not filament, so Spati Laravel login link is basically a blade component x login link which you can put wherever on your local environment by the way and this is very important and we will also get back to that in a minute but basically you add a link to your login form and you may provide a few parameters what to log in with for example so that's one side of the story now how to do that in filament so in your panel provider admin panel provider you just add these lines so render hook, which is a general kind of logic, what to hook, what to show in different parts of your application. So there are hooks for like footer, for example, sidebar, scripts and styles, and a lot of more things. I will link that in the description below the render hooks documentation. So one of the places where you can hook into is auth login form before. Basically this place visually in the login form. So you add any string you want. And in this case, we are rendering the blade, which is exactly the blade from the package of spot. And you also need to add blade on top, which is illuminate support facades blade that comes from Laravel, not from filament. Anyway, this is how you add that link. And there's not much more for you to do. Of course, you may add a few more parameters, as I've shown you. For that, you should check the readme and the documentation of Spati package. Let's just copy one of those labels. You can add a label here. So now if we refresh, it should say login as admin, as expected. Now let's discuss the ENV local. Of course, that would be very insecure if you do that in production. So that's why you must, you have to add ENV local, which would enable that link to be visible only if your .env file says app ENV local. So your task, your goal is to not forget to change that when you deploy to production. But if you forget to do that and leave local here, then you will have many bigger problems of security. Not only with login link, you would expose like error stack tracing and some SQL queries potentially and debug bar and a lot of more things. But let's simulate here production here on my local server in this case. So if app ENV is production, then that ENV local is false. And now if I refresh the page, that login link isn't visible. So this is how it works with environments. And yeah, for more features of that package, check out the documentation. It may be configured in the configuration file with redirect URL, for example, specifying the user to log in with, customizing the link with CSS. The package also can automatically create users if you don't have any in your database and more features. What do you think? Will you use that plugin and filament render hooks in your projects? Or do you prefer to kind of fake login in some other way for your cases? Share your experiences in the comments below. If you want more examples of filament, of course, subscribe to the channel, but also for ready made bigger examples, we release them on filamentexamples.com. So you can search for, for example, CRM or whatever. And we keep adding more filament examples here. So check out filamentexamples.com. By doing that, you're supporting this YouTube channel to continue with more free videos. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.